everybody, Dwayne Cotton here with DwayneCotton.com. Today's friendly tip, never voluntarily give up a sale. Now, what do I mean by that? Two weeks ago, we ordered windows for a house that we're working on. They were supposed to be delivered last Thursday, so today I called to ask if we could pick them up. And guess what? The salesperson reluctantly told me that, oops, we forgot to order them. The next thing out of their mouth blew my mind. One is we could order them right now and put a rush on them. Okay, that, that's fine. But the next thing was, or you can explore other options. Code word for, call my competitor and order them from them. So I'm thinking, why would you tell someone that buys a lot of products from you, uh, number two, they pay their bills on time, and number three, they are always growing. Their company is growing, like ourselves. We're growing. We're adding products. We're, we're adding people. We're doing more projects. Why would you tell me to explore other options? Meaning, deal with the person who wants to put me out of business. So, the tip of the day is, if you make a mistake, number one, own up to it. Number two, fix it. Sweeten the deal. For example, if I'm this person, I'm saying, hey, you know what? We made a mistake. I'm truly sorry. I know it puts you in a tight spot. Here's your windows. We put a rush on them. You don't have to pay for that rush. And number two, we're going to throw the caulking in for free or the box of wrap to wrap the windows. We're going to throw it in for free. Handle it, right? That's how That's how you truly solve a situation before it really it becomes a situation. Like, you don't, like, go to... Oh, by the way, this is my daughter, Alexa. Hey, you Alexa. Don't, you don't go to one grocery store and then you, like, tell them, say, hey, we don't have this product, so go to another grocery store. Right. I mean... you want the money. Right. You say, let, let me try to sell you something else, something that you have. You try to retain the client. You try to keep the client in-house. Something similar to that. Right. And so we do that all the time. Look, if I have a new construction house for sale and it's not exactly what someone's looking for, I'm going to try to sweeten the deal. Could, could you accept this floor plan? Could you live in this house? Yeah. Could you live in this neighborhood? Yes. Well, I'm going to look at options to get them in that house. You know, we really wanted a deck out back. Uh, a 20 by 20 deck. You know what? I'm going to do, I'm going to build the deck. If that's what it's going to take to put you in the house and that's not going to break the bank, then I'm going to spend that little bit of extra money, negotiate, try to get you in that house. Maybe you wanted, um, what, a hot tub? Yeah. You want a hot tub? I'll put you in a hot tub. If I'm building you a new house or if, I, if I'm selling a house that I'm building for uh, my company to sell as a, what we call a spec you house. A medium room? them to put on some chairs right if you're buying like a house with pre-made decor and stuff yeah right pre <laughs> well we exactly we can add stuff you can want reclaim wood on a wall i'm going to add that if you want a custom mantle i'm going to add that why would you tell someone you know what this is not the exact house for you but if you go down the street you might find the one for you you try to retain the sell you don't sell someone something that they don't need or don't want but you try to you try to find a, a, a way to to uh, make them like your deal. In this case here, I don't want to go to their competitor. I deal with them all the time. And so it's easier for me to say, well, you already have the order uh, on file. I don't have to send it to you. No one has, from my office has to spend time to, to dig up the measurements and resend them and, the, and to check the quality of the window and what style. Did it have grids or no grids? And all that kind of stuff, right? It was just simple. Please order them. And let me know that they're that they've come in. So we're internally we've changed things a little bit. We're going to require a purchase order to be accepted by the manufacturer, meaning when they place the order and the order has been placed, then we get a response that it's physically been re, uh, placed and and here's where we're going to get it. So we're going to inter you know handle that internally. But it blew my mind. Why would you send someone or suggest they go to your competitor? Never ever do that. Always try to retain your client, retain the sale, because I'm going to tell you right now, you, you have a client in this in this system with you, right? If it's a regular a client that you have, not a new one, but someone that you, 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 you help with multiple problems, especially if you're a service company. What if you're a heating and air company and you have a maintenance, preventive maintenance? You see them every summer and every fall, every spring, every fall, every summer, every winter. And like, you're out there twice, you're out there twice a bit. What you got, babe? Like the other... Well, last night we were um, we were at a store, a clothes store, with the multiple things store, and because we were getting my jeans for, because I was shadowing at middle school today, 
um, in. So we were getting jeans for my shadowing yeah. day. And so they didn't have the size that I needed. And then they were like, they weren't just like, here, go to this other store. They were like, well, why don't you try some other jeans? Exactly. Look, don't leave and go down the road and try to buy them somewhere else or something that's similar. Wait a minute. Have you tried this? Have you seen this particular style jean that we have? See, and never I ended up getting a different pair of jeans. Never let a client leave your 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 cycle, right? Never let them leave because if they go to the competitor for one thing, they're probably going to stay there. So, tip of the day, never ever allow a seller to get away from you. If you make a mistake, own up to it. Number 2, fix it. Dwayne Cotton here, dwaynecotton.com and Alexa Say bye. Bye. See ya.